that the two types are one is about ipv4 and another one is about ipv6 morning is i about ipv4 how it will be so what is the header format and uh, how it will be allocated the bits per each and every data uh, in the network so this is the ipv header for we have so here the diagram about each and every a segment how much uh, bits are going to be allocated that information is shown in that figure so these are the things we saw so this is a thing we have uh, stopped so optional information which is source and uh, record the row so we already said that uh, in the game puzzle game we broke into puzzle into different pieces each piece may travel into a different route may chosen and travel and reach to the destination so if uh, the network administration need to know that whether which route is uh, followed and that information is uh, mainly maintained by the network administrator he can know that what is the path and which path is properly working which path is not properly working so that type of information is going to be uh, seen by the network administration in the optional part we have the last uh, part optional we have so here after data we have these things are called as optional so this one options plus padding so these are information where we are going to be add the additional information which requires to the next network administration which path the particular data is going to be choosing or not that information is shown so next one is about uh, uh, internet protocol version 6 only 16 members why ask them to join immediately So already two. So why we are coming up with this? I remember morning we discussed. General IP address is going to be see about the sending. That is the data is sending and addressing. That address is to know that where to send and from where it is coming from. This information only it's contain. if at all we want to perform any uh, error checking or any additional information we need to get it from that uh, uh, protocol we need to use a tcp by that we can know that which frame is coming from which way which path all those things everything we can uh, conclude over there so i will see that the next uh, uh, protocol is ipv6 this is the version uh, uh, 6 and again this is also was developed and maintained by uh, iet so that is uh, internet uh, internet engineering task force iet to deal with the problem of ipv4 execution so extraction we have some what uh, difficulties with ipv4 we have some what problem to overcome these problems we we have this ipv6 ipv6 is used 128 bit so the previous one is about uh, just 32 bit only so this is a 128 bit is going to be used. 128 bit addressing having um, the ad address space of 2 power 128 which is uh, bigger than ipv4 in ipv6 we use the uh, colon hexar is uh, there only hexadecimal representation we are going to do here the colon hexadecimal representation there is a eight groups if you see the diagram in the down there is a uh, columns are there no in the columns we have eight groups are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight groups are there the eight groups are each group have a two bytes of data so total 8 into 2 is 16 byte the header size is 16 by 120 so the large uh, header size compared to the ipv4 okay so ipv6 representation we have addressing methods so we have a three types of addressing methods are there one is unicast multicast and unicast so these are the very very important in the part of ipv6 compare over uh, ipv4 we have the advantages So this representation we can do any one we can choose. 
so unicast addressing um, address identifies a single network interface or a single network uni one so it is going to be use a single network interface the packet sent to a unicast address is delivered to a interface identified by that address only only one uh, single network interface only we are going to be use this for unicast for that multicast addressing mode by multiple hosts called as a groups acquires a multicast destination address that is we know that uh, threading concept you know one to one one to many many to many same concept the previous one is one to one only this one is a uh, many to many so many addresses multicast is used by the many multiple hosts are called groups are requires the multicast destination address the host are need not to be a geographical together if there are packet is sent to the uh, this multicast address then it will be distributed all the interface corresponding to the multicast address simply we can uh, go with the uh, broadcasting all those things we can call. but ipv4 not using for broadcast this is a simple the way we are going to be represent further down we are going to be use here uh, the broadcast but it is not a broadcast it is ipv6 is not going to be used for broadcast so then another one is about unicast unicast address is assigned a group of interfaces so unicast is one interface here the group of interface if any packet sent unicast address will be delivered only one member interface mostly nearest to host possible so the first one is one to one the next one is many to many and third one is about many to one so that one which one is uh, mean which one host is the nearest to that particular one that is going to be get that is the any case so group of interfaces are there a packet is sent uh, the any cast address it will be delivered only one member with the interface the who is that one member means who is mostly near to that one this is the ipv6 header so here uh, we have same motion a uh, copy class and flow label and payload length and next header and uh, hope limit that is a uh, uh, node limit we can call and the source and destination address we have this is the information where we have uh, the bit level so the version how much uh, length it will take how many bits it will take version will take the four bits and the uh, priority are trophy classes so this will be the important i will show you what is the priority so priority means ordering so which one uh, uh, one to some order we have need to follow so ascending or descending order what is the order then the flow label is about uh, nearly 20 bits are there and the payload length is 16 bits and the next header is 8 bits so hope limit is 8 bit source and destination address and extension addresses are very uh, advantage over this ipv6 we can extend it to the, the uh, address uh, extension address this address we can continue with the, uh, another data also we can add the data for this same address so here the version we have four bits it indicates the internet protocol which contains the sequence of 0110 Then the traffic class eight bits it contains. The traffic classes fields indicates the class of property priority. Sorry, not the property. It is the priority of IPv4 packets, which is similar to the service field in IPv4 packet. It helps a router to handle the traffic based on priority of packet. If congestion occurs on router, then the packets with least priority will be discarded so as of now only four bits are being used and remaining bits are under research so that is only four bits are going to be used which are in which we have 0 to 7 assigned for uh, convention controlled traffic and 8 to 15 are assigned uncontrolled uh, traffic. so what is this uh, 0 to 7 this one is uh, 0 to 7 convention controlled traffic so zero is no specification traffic. If one is there, a background data is running. Two is uh, 
unattended data in traffic, three is a reserved, and four the attended bulk data traffic, and five for reserved data, and six for interactive traffic, and the seven for control. Traffic. So how is the meaning of control? So this is the priority. So that is the order. So if, uh, the priority is given zero, then it is a no specific traffic is available. So it won the background data. So two unwanted data traffic, and the three is reserved, and the four all those things. We have one one IPV. So then IPV header uh, flow uh, label we have. This flow label contains a twenty bit size. Flow label field is used by the source label, the package belonging to the same flow under to the request special handling by intermediate IPV four routers. So intermediate nodes are going to be used to. Perform this operation, such as non-default quality of services. So generally, uh, we need to improve and maintain the quality of service or real-time services. We are going to be used uh, the default, non-default quality purpose. So in order to distinguish the flow, the intermediate routers can use the source and destination address flow label. So meaning itself is then a flow level. So how it is flowing? So while flowing, how much quality control? So that is the data. How much quality is producing? What is the level of quality? That information is shown in this uh, particular field of the head IPV head. So this is a part of IPV head. Please be remember that is only heading I mentioned IPV its header. So existing they because they might be running in the same time and the router or host. Do not support the functionality of flow label in the field under default routing and router handle. The flow label field is set to be zero while setting up the label. The source is also supposed to specify the lifetime of flow. So how much time it is taking to uh, sending the data? What is the limitations of this? So everything we have to show. Wait one second. So. Can someone say my screen is visible? I think so. This is a uh, flow label. Sir. Okay, thank you. Then another one is about uh, payload length. This is a 16 bit, uh, 16 bit unsigned integers. We are going to be using this one. So indicate uh, total size of payload, which tells to router about amount of information particular packet contains and its payload. So payload length field include the extension. Header if any upper layer packet in case of length payload is greater than so I already told uh, the message uh, in IPv6 IPv4 we discussed so 65,535 bytes will be added if at all we have a more than data so previous we talked uh, some 20 bytes to the maximum size so the payload is if it is more than that. So the payload is uh, bytes can be indicated with 16 bits. So later on, it is going to be added 16 bits. 16 bits is going to be added. So um, that's why it is mentioned as payload option plus payload. So the adding of uh, extra bits is going to be added here. And then the payload length field will be set to zero and jump payload option is used to hope by hope option. So hope by hope is a simply can how the uh, host to host connection. No? So that is the uh, hope by hope option extension. Head. So how once we have connection established between the host uh, one node to another node, this header will be automatically transfer the data. The excess, excess data will be sent automatically with the various length of 16 bits. The next header is. So it indicates the type of extension header. It is immediately 
following the ipv6 header whereas the some cases in indicate the protocol continue with the upper layer packet such as tcp and ubp so we know the datagram packets where we are going to be mention this ip so i have remember the diagram so first layer is about uh, link layer the next layer about uh, network layer and third layer about uh, transport layer where we have a tcp and ubp so below of this tcp and ubp you have the network layer so that is ip header and ip data we have so this ip data whether we are going to be follow by the ipv4 address or ipv6 address whatever it may be so based upon this how we are going to be indicate so what is the next address so that the next data what is coming that information also it is going to be mentioned so in in the data continuation manner we may use this sequence number next to header number so what is the next header so in order to assemble reassemble the puzzle so we can easily uh, use this uh, next header address information easy then hope limit we can use hope limit is the same as ttl uh, uh, ttl in ipv4 packet time to leave so ttl means time to leave uh, it indicates that the maximum number of intermediate uh, nodes in ipv6 packets to allow to travel so how much time it is uh, taking to travel the value is get uh, decremented by one by each node that forwards the packet and the packets are discarded when it is decremented to zero so this is used to discard the packets such as infinite loop because of same routing error is coming if anything error is coming so number of times so we know that uh, how much uh, duplication is there or not so whether the duplication is available uh, uh, duplication is uh, with the particular node so how to avoid the duplication even how to protect uh, the original data to send and even if we have to consider about so whether the particular uh, data is missed or not so the tcp already i said that the tcp is take care about this whether the particular assembling order any one is missing it is asking to for this and the data so that type of errors is going to be mentioned in this thing so we, uh, the simple meaning of uh, time when it is uh, coming and when it is leaving so what is the maximum time to take in so all those information it will be then as usual uh, previous we has 32 bits the size source and destination address here the source address is 128 bit size and the destination address is again 128 bit uh, so source address is 128 in ip address original uh, source of packet and the destination address field indicates the ipv6 address the final destination in the most cases all the intermediate nodes can use this information in order to correctly route the packets so then we have uh, i already told you the extension uh, header we have uh, last one in order to specify the limitations of ipv4 field option the extension headers are introduced in ipv6 so that was the problem that was the extension here. the extension header mechanism is very important for the ipv4 architecture the next address field of ipv4 fixed header header point to the first extension header is the first extension header point the second extension header and so on so this length of 16 bits it is automatically the whenever the data size is maximum limits to that is a, something is there no uh, 65553 bytes is there no so if the data is extension then we have one one data header linking them so if i possible i will show you the diagram how the one header is simply we have linked list concept one header is going to be linked with another header no? so that and so on uh, meaning here here so the first extension header and the, this first extension header is points to the second extension header and so on so third and fourth and fifth and one by one it is going to be shown uh, clearly next ipv security so here we have enter into our main uh, first one what is now up to now we discuss about ip 
So what is the main aim of IP? Why the TCP IP came into the picture? Then later, what are the two ways of addressing IPv4 and IPv6 addressing? So what is the use of that one? Now we have a IP security overview. So IP security is an art. IP security is an art. Uh, a single protocol instead of IP security provides a set of security mechanism, security uh, algorithms uh, plus a single framework that allows a pair of communication entire to the whichever algorithms to provide the security appropriate for the communication. So it is a, not only a single one, it is a group of algorithms. So it is provides the better communication between the parties, two parties. So the maybe a sender and receiver. This is not a single protocol, it is a group of protocols. So that is uh, that's why we here we are going to be about network security part two. The part one, what are the protocols we are discussing? And part two, in IP sec, we have a group of algorithms we are going to be discussing. So even I will show you that what are the algorithms we low key standard. So EDS, AES and uh, uh, various algorithms, RSA algorithm. These are the algorithms we may use a group into that picture and can provide the better communication and to provide the better security also. So that is so instead of IP set, provide a set of security algorithm plus is a general framework that allows a pair of communicating entities whichever use whichever algorithm to provide the security. For the appropriate communication. So we need to confirm that what type of communication, whether the two-way communication or one-way communication. We already uh, declared this one by using some real-time example. SBA bank is confirming the message. So what type of messages we have to send to all of them? What type of message we have to send to a particular person? Who is the authentic? Uh, again, we have, uh, have an authentication credentials based on how to uh, reply to that one. All those. Then what are the applications of this IPsec? So secure, secure branch of this connectivity over the internet and a secure remote access over the internet, establishing extranet and intranet connectivity with partners and exchanging electronic commerce security. So these uh, uh, all business oriented things, all those things. And whenever the concept of network is coming to internet is coming to a picture so then we are going to be connecting uh, one system to another system so that is the source branch of this connectivity over the internet secure branch of this connectivity so how we are going to be provide a better security by using various security algorithms so that is the so this is the IP security scenario so we have a public or private network we have so user uh, system we have here, that is the IPsec, that's the IP header, IPsec header, and secure IP payload. So these are the main three parts. So again, we have IP header. So IPsec security header also again, and the secure IP with the payload. So the payload means what is the data, how we are going to be added to here, that data is going to be mentioned. Then we can release it a public. So who are the particular accessing network? So this is the network accessing with IP set. So here the IP header and IP payload is. So based upon this accessing of IP set, so the internet protocol security is whichever our devices are enabled, that devices only get the data. So here also get the data. So when it is transferring through the secure, so IP secure header is going to be gives the uh, secure to the header. Here also it gives the secure to the header, then the data is transferred once it is security confirmed. So up to now previous IPv4 and IPv6 simply saw that every data we have oh, header uh, for particular data. So even if data link layer we have uh, frame check uh, datagrams and datagram headers are there. Then later we have IP header and IP headers are there. Then UDP uh, data and UDP header also. So here we data and for the data, what the information about the data. So that is maybe what is the length of the data, maybe what are the uh, type of uh, protocol using, what is the source address, what is the destination address only we are mentioning. But we are not providing any security to that particular header. 
so in order to provide a head, uh, header security for each and every datagram so there we are going to be using ip6 scenario so ip security overview so the benefits of ip ip security transport to application below the transport layer and udp you know that the diagram i shown you in the tech first application layer then the transport layer the options of uh, presentation layer and session layer where directly transfer and layer transport layer where the transport layer is tcp and udp there the udp header or tcp header and tcp header or udp header so provides the security for individual users and ip say can assure that a router or neighbor advertisements comes from an authorized user so i admit whenever we have uh, the group of data or uh, sending a multiple receivers to a for exact message we need to send so we need to confirm it whether the particular uh, receiver is authorized receiver or not so we need to confirm that the, the neighbor uh, router or neighbor advertisement comes from the authorized router or not. an indirect message come from the router which is initial packet was sent or not so initiating taken by the client or by the source or the by the destination when the acknowledgements come from the receiver then only it has to direct and it has to provide the data to them so then routing update is not for for it so routing update is not a, an issue about here that's only here we don't have any uh optional information is not uh, mentioned here. just we have providing a security for that given data to them so only so we have to send whether this option so what is this authorization and again we can back to our fourth unit what is authorization means so provide the integrity authentic uh, integrity confidentiality and authentication so when we have that is availability we can call these three whenever we can provide to the data then the data should be secure so to provide the ip security means provide the every uh, header data we need to provide with the security mention that security should be authorized that means it is the simple meaning of providing confidentiality integration and authentication also. so again this ip security we can divide into two main parts that is the esp uh payload service another one is authentication service if you want so one will give the confidentiality another one is gives the authentication so that only so we have various uh, architectures are there for ip security so already we said that it is not in one single router one it is group of other based upon the network and based upon the uh, user preferences we may choose any one of uh, the security services they are going to be used so rc rfc 2401 security architecture of internet protocol it is uh, uh, s kent and uh, some other two authors for developed in 1998 so in over way of security methods these are the various implementation so see here so one is about security architecture and internet protocol then ip authentication header then ip encapsulation security header this is a esp this is the main one we are going to be use uh, this uh, one we are going to be learn in this ip security so one part of this one esp encapsulation security payload then the internet uh, ip security domains uh, interaction with uh, uh, or iskamp so then another one is about internet security association key management protocol internet security association key management protocol this one is internet security ip security domain representation interpretations all those things uh, then another one is about um, internet key exchange how we are going to be exchange the keys so these are the various uh, uh, standard documentations for ip security this was updated in 2005 okay. then ip security architecture so what is the architecture we are going to be see the internet key exchange ike the method for establishing a security mechanism 
so that is SCA security mechanism that authenticate users negotiate the encryption mechanism and exchange the secret key so how to exchange the secret key so here the exchange of secret key is the same we may talk about it may be a synchronous and asynchronous can anyone say that what is a synchronous what is the meaning called a synchronous what is the meaning called a synchronous so please be remember that we have a keys a shared key a public key and private key these the three so when we have talk about synchronous both parties are going to be share the same key shared key we have so the key is going to be share in between the two parties when we are going to be talk about asymmetric asymmetric means so we have two keys are there one by using one key we are going to be do the encryption by using another key we are going to do the decryption so which key is for encryption which key is the decryption key private key is used for encryption that is the sender encryption and the receiver is going to be do the decrypt by using a public key so these keys are going to be exchanged in between so shared key so how we are going to be exchange the secret so the key internet key exchange is used ipsec protocol it is delivered by the this iasm kp so that is a internet security uh, association key management protocol so previously only we saw that what is that so the internet security association and key management protocol iskamp iskamp internet security association and key management protocol so protocol framework the key exchange is uh, done with uh, oakley and scheme key exchange techniques the ike that is internet uh, key exchange uses the public key cryptography public key cryptography provides the security transactions of the secret key to the recipient so that the encrypted data may be decrypted with the other end so whatever it when we have a key so with the key we are going to be do one side encryption with the uh, key we are going to be do with a decryption in other end that is the receiver then we have another uh, two more here ipv ikv internet uh, key exchange version 2 also there so this is protocol is developed in 2005 and one is developed in 2010 in uh, different journals they have standards proposed standards are there <coughs> so this is a overall architecture diagram for ip set so this is one very very important one uh, so the here we have architecture and the architecture mainly is uh, psp encryption standard protocol so that is a, a payload so not a stand payload and we have authentication header protocol we have two pulse here and it is by using these two protocol we are going to be do the encryption algorithm we are going to be follow and authentication algorithm. so one encryption is giving the confidentiality and this one is giving the authentication okay so one is a confidentiality another one is authentication so both all those things we are going to be do on uh, domain of internet so what is the main purpose of we are going to be transfer in that to the internet that so for this we are going to be do some key management so these things we have to learn clearly then our uh, ip security concept is going to be complete so psp and ah and encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm so that is authentication algorithm so how we are going to be do the key management so ip sec services are access control connectionless integrity and data origin authentication rejection of replied packets and confidentiality so that is known as encryption i already told you where we have so in esp we are going to be provide for encryption that is nothing but a confidentiality here we are going to be provide the authentication so at end we are going to be uh, get concluded with the security that is a try we have we have not trying to shake off for security so authentication availability and integrity these three parts so here we are going to get confidentiality and authentication on to the ip header so every ip header data we are going to get out so then confidentiality that is another encryption unlimited traffic flow of confidentiality 
so how to uh, take care about limited so first one we can see about what is the survey security associations what is the security association one of uh, a one way uh, relationship between a sender and receiver one way relationship so there is only one way so here one way means uh, here we have three identifier parameters are there that is parameters whatever we can discuss so what is one way relationship means of course simply we can talk about uh, uh, walkie talkie have you remember the walkie talkie so there is a both are going to be have a communication but at a time we can do at one transaction at a time so someone for example uh, some sender is uh, sending a message to the receiver once the receiver is received then he gave an acknowledgement then after only ready to sender is there so whatever it is there is no acknowledgement also then only one time we can have one relationship between only sender and receiver only we have some security association so how we can may draw it like this for example so we have a two uh, two systems are there for example this one is a sender and this one is a receiver so when we have sending the data sender to receiver so one way communication again we have a rec uh, receiver to sender we have also one way communication so how it is going to be authenticated here means this is for example we can have this is a for example this is we can have sender we can we can talk yes and receiver we can talk or we may talk about for example this is a client and this is a server we can talk in a two different manner so so if it is like this then the sender or client can have for example sca that is the security associations of in suffix we may mention whose security association it is this is the client security association our server security uh, sender security association he is to follow to send the data to the client and the receiver so again the receiver is to know about the receiver security associations so that is we can have as client and server or we can call as a receiver also so now the security association is used by the receiver and he is sending only one way transaction so we are not going to be club this one so they have a, only one relationship in between do sender and receiver so at a time only one relationship between here so that is so here we have a, a three types of parameters are available okay so three types of parameters this one so this is the security uh, parameter index security parameter index so through that index we we need to follow this one then ip destination address and security uh, protocol identifier so these three are the parameters to uh, transform the data in the better manner by using a single transaction so that is uh, only one time we can perform the operation so that is uh, either sender association security association or receiver association any one it can play at a time so here we have the transport mode and uh, tunnel mode we have two uh, types of modes are there for uh, these uh, sec um, security associations so in authentication header what is done authenticates the ep payload and selected the partition of header and ipv6 extension headers here the authenticate the entire inner ip packet plus ip packet plus the selected partition of outer of ip address so how we are going to be do the authentication header in a uh, transport mode or channel mode two different models are there that's so how we are going to be one is going to be used ip header and ip header extension and another one is going to be used inner and outer part of how we are going to be then uh, encryption standard payloads we are going to be used so encrypts the ip payload and any ipv extension header so ipv ip payload with uh, extension that extension we are going to be do the encryption 
So here we are going to be encrypt the inner IP packet. So ESP with authentication. So the payload and IP extension header uh, and authenticates the IP payload, but no IP header. So here we have to do inner IP packet and authenticate the inner IP packet. So these are the simple uh, differentiation between a transport mode and spinner mode, uh, how to perform the uh, simple mode of uh, transmissions. So before applying H, that is authentication header, we need to apply. So what will be the data, how it will be. So IPv4, how it will be, IPv6, how it will be. So IPv4, we have. So, so everywhere we here we have the TCP is present because once we are going to be send the data, so general IP is going to be talk about only addressing sender and destination addressing only. So by using we can check the data is available or not. So all those things. Are. So original IP address we are going to use, original IP header we are going to use. Here also original IP before applying it. Once we can apply authentication header, it is going to be added here. See that? Authentication header expects the multi -text. So authentication expects the mutable fields. So here we are going to be added. So here IPv6 we are going to be added. So and here we need to mention the designation also. We are going to be added and more. So the transport. Now how we are going to be use it funeral mode. So funeral mode we are going to be used already said that. So where we are going to be is the extension header and one place we are going to be not use an extension header. So we are going to be do the uh, inner packet, inner uh, packet and the inner uh, outer packet we are going to be considering. So there we are going to be use IPv4. Here the new IP address, IP header we are going to be used. So for that we are going to be add the authentication. The previous one. The old IP address itself, we are going to be add the transport mode, old, and that is the original IP address itself, we are going to be add the authentication. So authentication header, we are going to be add. For in a tunnel mode, we are going to be add. The original address is as usual. For that, we are going to be create the new IP address, and for that, we are going to be add authentication to it. So here, after extension header only, we are going to be add this authentication header. So that's the... Uh, Two different models of this. So, what is this authentication header? So, IPsec we have divided into two parts ESP and another one is AH. So, ESP is used for confidentiality and AH is used for authentication purpose. So, it provides uh, data integrity and authentication MAC. This is a MAC message authentication code, MAC code, no message authentication code for IP packets. So each and every packet we are going to be conclude this MAC code. So what is the MAC code? Simple meaning anyone? We discuss in the fourth unit. What is the MAC? Modification authentication code or message authentication code. So in order to provide the message <coughs> uh, integrity, what is the integrity? We are going to be combined. We are going to be called a combined where we are going to be apply the hash function or we can call it a message digest. So in order to calculate the message digestion in the receiver side, we are going to be compare the <coughs> message digest code that is the MEC, message authentication code. So guards against the reply attacks. We have again we have authentication header, we have next header, the payload length and use for reserve, and the security parameter index I we have, and the sequence number and authentication data is available. So all the Data is going to be presented. Data. Then end to end versus end to intermediate authentication. So direct we will have how we are going to be provide. The simple meaning uh, uh, sender and receiver is not going to be uh, communicate directly, and sender and receiver is going to be communicate directly. So in between we are going to be use some firewall rules. So see here for example end to end communication so system to system communication system to system communication is going to be performed here see that if you see the lines here in this uh, server for example these are the clients the clients can communicate directly to the server directly to the server the clients can communicate directly. 
but we have another client here the client is going to be use some extensible network through this network he is going to be uh, following through the firewall through the firewall he is going to be access the server so how the various ways are we can access in the uh, server to authenticate for example direct server client server uh, communication the cloud signed uh, client need to for example direct authentication means client need to authenticate from the server in inter in, in between what is going to be happen the firewall which is going to be we are going to be trust on the firewall then we can uh, expose our data to over there then the firewall will get the request from the uh, receive the data from the server, server and it is going to be processed so in between we are going to be keep one more uh, um, another uh, additional security to provide both uh, uh, parties in between so that is the sender and receiver we are going to be have one more uh, um, main security we are going to be used okay now the not only in between a client and server so that is the end to end we are going to be uh, take it as so then simply we can call it the broker or no so we are going to be uh, hand over to all those method of so this is a brokering network also it is nowadays it is a very famous in the cloud computing architecture with a broker uh, cloud we have the concept of so that is in between third party person we are going to be enter and we are going to be believe him and we are going to be send the data so this is the one so this we can see in tomorrow encapsulation security pillar this is the two parts i said no one is uh, esp protocol and another one is ah protocol so one is used for authentication another is used for uh, confidentiality so authentication header is used for uh, authentication or integrity we can call and esp so that is encapsulation uh, security payload is provide confidentiality so that is the encryption is nothing but as confidentiality so this one we will discuss tomorrow so still anyone having doubt you can ask me in the two or three minutes i will explain so tell me so main we have to land here the ip address headers what is the format of header header formats we need to anyone having doubt you can ask me Thank you. It's in the next class. Thank you very much.